Hey Eagles, this week is the first installment in the 99 questions tag um, that these are like the 99 questions that no one really cares about the answer to. Is that what the tag actually is? Because that seems sad, but we're doing it anyway. So prepare to be bored by answers to questions you never wanted to know the answers to. Okay, let's do it. One, do you sleep with the closet doors open or closed? Usually open because I don't want one more step in between me and having to get dressed in the morning. Two, do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? Pretty much every single time I stay in one, yep. Three, do you sleep with the sheets tucked in or out? If I have just changed my sheets and remade my bed, then they will be tucked in, otherwise tucked out every single time because I do not remake my bed every day. Four, have you ever stolen a street sign? No. Five, do you like to use post-it notes? Yes, more so at work than at home though. Six, do you cut coupons and then never use them? No, the only coupons I ever end up with are the ones that are like attached to the end of a receipt when you actually buy something or the ones that shoot out at you at the grocery store from the little shoot that are related to your purchases and I still don't even ever use those. Seven, would you rather be attacked by a big bear or by a swarm of bees? I think I'm gonna go with a big bear. Eight, do you have freckles? Yes. Hundreds and hundreds, possibly thousands and thousands of them. I'm covered in them pretty much head to toe all year round, and it just gets crazier when summer hits and I spend more time outside. Nine, do you always smile for pictures? I would say that I am about 50-50 between smiling and making ridiculous faces just for the hell of it. Ten, what is your biggest pet peeve? I don't know if it's my biggest pet peeve, but the one that is jumping to mind right now is when people reduce words to single letters in emails, like the letter U instead of spelling out Y-O-U. I don't understand why people can't, you know, put out the effort for the extra two keystrokes so that they don't look like an idiot. It bothers the crap out of me. 11, do you ever count your steps when you walk? I don't think so, but I'm sure I have done it at some time or another in my life. 12, have you ever peed in the woods? And 13, have you ever pooped in the woods? Yes to both. I have been camping the real kind. 14, do you ever dance when there's no music playing? all the time. 15. Do you chew your pens and pencils? I don't have any vivid recollection of chewing a pen or pencil recently, so I guess I broke myself of the habit because I definitely used to. 16. How many people have you slept with this week? Zero, unless you count the characters of the books that are sitting on my bed right now or the Batman figurine that's in my loot crate box that is also sitting on my bed. 17. What size is your bed? I have a queen. 18. What is your song of the week? I seriously cannot stop listening to Come and Get It by Selena Gomez. I wish I could say I was embarrassed by that admission, but I'm not even a little. I love it. It's so freaking catchy. 19. Is it okay for guys to wear pink? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? That would be like saying girls aren't allowed to wear blue and considering that 90% of the shirts in my closet are blue, I would be screwed. 20. Do you still watch cartoons? Not a lot, but I have been known to go through marathon sessions of Gem on Netflix. 21, what is your least favorite movie? Nothing is really popping into my head for stuff that I really, for a specific movie that I didn't really like, but I generally don't like horror movies, so that's the answer I'm gonna give. 22, where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? Somewhere secret, I wouldn't tell you point of being hidden is that only I know where it is. If I told you, that would ruin it. 23, what do you drink with dinner? Typically water. I don't really keep soda or anything else like that in my apartment, but I do occasionally like a good beer um, or a glass of wine. Or since the other girls were saying what their beverage of choice, adult beverage of choice is between a gin and tonic or Manhattan because I drink like an old man. 24, what do you dip a chicken nugget in? Nothing, I don't eat chicken. 25, what's your favorite food? Tie between shrimp and cheese. 26, what movies could you watch over and over again and still love? The list is pretty long, but some of the movies I can watch over and over again without getting sick of and still absolutely loving are The Princess Bride, Pride and Prejudice, all of the Lord of the Rings movies, Super Troopers, and though it should be embarrassing to admit, The Transporter. I love Jason Statham, what can I say? 27, the last person who kissed you or who you kissed. Does my niece blowing me a kiss via video count? 28, were you ever a boy or girl scout? Yes, I don't remember how long I stayed in it though. I think I was out by the time I was maybe eight or nine. I do remember being a daisy and I remember being a brownie, but other than that, I don't really know. 29, would you ever strip or pose nude for a magazine? Nope. 30. When was the last time you wrote to someone on paper? I have a half-finished letter to my pen pal for IGGPPC, if that counts. 31. Can you change the oil in a car? In theory, yes. I do remember being shown how to do it by my dad and by some friends in college, but 
I don't really remember how. 32, have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? Yes, I have gotten three speeding tickets in my life. They were all on the same day within the span of about a half an hour. It's a good story. And 33, have you ever run out of gas? Thankfully, no, I've gotten close, um, but never actually run out to the point of being stranded. All right, guys, that is the first third of the 99 questions tag. I am really enjoying hearing all of your answers to the questions and getting to know you guys a little bit better. And I think it's awesome that everyone loves The Princess Bride so much because it's a kick-ass movie. So that is going to be it. And I will see you guys next week.